Hi, thanks for joining. Tonight we have a special auction to feature benefiting a good cause. I'm Palmer, Marketing and Creative Director here at Everything But The House. Hi Palmer. Hi. I'm Jennifer Gibson from the Merchandising Team. The Marco family has been giving back to the community via their church, Evangel Christian Center in Queens, New York for generations. Pastor Andrew Marco and his wife Destiny made it their mission to help feed the underserved in New York City by launching a food pantry just over a year ago. Yeah, and today their food pantry, Nine Million Reasons, provides groceries to over 8,000 families in the city, and they've decided to sell their Long Island retreat to help serve even more. Proceeds from the sale will benefit the pantry and help them expand their reach. Over the years, the Marcos have enjoyed sharing their Long Island retreat with the underprivileged children and adults, giving them a chance to escape the city and enjoy the great outdoors while fishing, swimming, and kayaking. Their beautiful estate also features fine antiques, furniture, and of course some pretty cool outdoor toys. Yeah, some good stuff in there. Mm -hmm. uh, many of the items in the sale, as we just talked about, are quite large. So we brought out uh, what we could, and then we're going to showcase some other stuff on our screen here. And uh, we'll pull up what photos that we can, and we have some other stuff that we're going to splice in as we go. So uh, we want to hear from you as we go. Be sure to comment and chat uh, with any questions. And uh, let's go ahead and bring out our favorite duo, Keredith. Uh, let's talk about some of these more popular items. Oh, God, what we got going Hello. on here? <laughs> Come on in. Kara and I decided to row on in. We did. <laughs> well, didn't want to miss this opportunity. I lost the coin toss for who got to get in the kayak. I want to ride out. <laughs> so this kayak is actually part of a pair that's quite popular. As you can see here, it's currently at $275 mm -hmm. with 32 bids. There are also two other tandem kayaks that are included in the collection, both being sold separately. Much of the outdoor sporting gear is performing quite well. Uh, there are also several great outdoor seating groups, and some of them we might be able to bring up on the screen here. There's you can a teak. See a few up here. Yep, there's a teak dining set, which is uh, pretty popular, as you can see, 251 with 30 bids, and that has wicker seating for six and uh, an umbrella. Uh, there's a Barker lounger, two-piece sofa, and ottoman. Um, Currently at $250 at 21 bids, and there's four days left in the sale, mm -hmm. everyone. Um, and uh, some wicker chaise lounges uh, that you can see. There's a couple lots of those. And, of course, some great market umbrellas, too, that are sprinkled throughout there. Um, so. And other fun outdoor highlights include a blue ceramic grill. It's featured right there. Currently so. at $160 with mm -hmm. 16 bids. Mm -hmm. A covered fire pit down here. That one's at $120 with 17 bids. Two lawn mowers and so much more. You can really see that the Marco family had a beautiful outdoor space set up for families to come and spend some time enjoying nature. Yeah, there's some really great uh, outdoor furniture, plenty of stuff to spruce up your guys' patios for the fall uh, and get you ready for next spring as well. So. Uh, let's go ahead and roll on out of here, guys. Row on row. 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 Get your fell row on. <laughs> Remember to chat us and comment along the way with any questions. Jen, let's talk about some of the uh, decor that we have set up around, the, around here. Well, this is such a great opportunity to purchase some of that coordinating uh, outdoor furniture and other items. And, of course, all the proceeds are going to feed people in need. So in addition to that outdoor furniture, yep. as you uh, were, were uh, alluded to, the Marco's beautiful home was furnished with some lovely antiques that we brought out to the set this evening. Sure. So one item that's really caught my eye is this gorgeous William and Mary uh, chest in elm. It's dating to the late 17th century. Um, as you can see, the, the iron hardware was uh, most likely a later association, and the bun feet on these guys, is, uh, they've always been replaced a long time ago. And the chest has a lot of imperfections. There's patches to the top, there's patches to the side, and as you can see, the top is kind of suede, but those are all part of the charm, and it proves that this chest has been well-loved and taken care of for hundreds of years. Yeah, it's currently at uh, 675 with 11. You're yep. fine with 11 bids. Uh, and then what right below that, this uh, Chesterfield sofa, it's perfect for a sitting area. Well, actually, the, the 
Chesterfield is such a great size. Yeah. Um, it's not as large as some. It's a great size. It's so easy to tuck this guy into an office situation or a study or a library. And the best thing is, is this leather has been worn in already. So, you know, it's the, the, the red leather has that really nice soft feel. And you can really just imagine curling up in, the, in this couch and reading a good book. Mm -hmm. So, and while we're right here, let's go right on to the next item. I can see this table working quite well with, with the sofa in the same room. Yeah. We have a 19th century French provincial table, um, so versatile. It was most likely created for dining, but you could use that table as a desk, as a work surface. Uh, it's got that convenient drawer right in the front, the square tapered legs. And um, again, just very uh, versatile and can function for uh, uh, several possibilities. Yeah, Great patina, nice table. Indeed, and then as you guys look around, you'll see a bunch of uh, small accents and fine pieces. There's some great boat mm -hmm. models, a few pieces of art. Uh, there's an urn on the side, some ceramics in the sail. So lots of good stuff for the home and, and kind of redecorating. Uh, well, thank you, Jen. Thanks. Uh, Kara's going to come out. Actually, we were just talking about this table, and there's this amazing uh, antique movie camera on here that actually has quite a bit of history, right? It does. Uh, this is a really significant camera engineered by the Mitchell Camera Corporation, which was a film manufacturing company that started in Los Angeles in 1919. One of the founders, George Mitchell, he perfected the camera design, which became one of the most used motion picture cameras of Hollywood's golden age. And his equipment continued to be essential in cinematography for decades. The camera in this collection is a 35 millimeter, which he first started making in 1920. The, this camera is one of the earlier ones, probably from the 1930s, and it has a low serial number of 672. You do want to take note that there are three lots in mm -hmm. um, the sale with Mitchell camera equipment, including the camera itself, uh, the motor, and film magazines. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, the low serial number is part of what makes this thing really special. And obviously, the other thing is who owned it and Absolutely. what it's done. Yes, the camera was previously, uh, previously belonged to Murray Lerner, who was a self-made director and producer. Um, and he actually used this very camera at the beginning of his career when he was filming the 1967 documentary called Festival. Um, and that, was, that documentary was Oscar nominated and it captured the Newport Folk Festival with legendary performances by Bob Dylan, yep. Johnny Cash, uh, Peter and Paul and Mary. Um, yeah, I actually watched a bit of the film last night mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it was filmed between 1963 and 1966. Uh, a bunch of great artists featured in there, and it captured Bob Dylan's mm -hmm. polarizing switch to electric, which was a bit controversial for the folk fans. Yep. Uh, but non nonetheless, the uh, the film is beautifully shot, and there's some amazing performances in there, and ama amazing moments and music, and it really captures that time. Yeah, I'm definitely going to make a point of watching it it's now. Cool. So um, the images shot captured were very significant turning points in pop culture. Mm -hmm. um, so um, he actually continued to use his camera to film music festivals throughout the 60s and 70s, and then he went on to film many live music performances thereon, including those of The Doors, the, the Who, Miles Davis. He actually performed the last performance, Jimi Hendrix's last concert. Wow. So, so he's really got a pretty impressive IMDb with a lot of lists, uh -huh. all kind of music related films, which are really cool. Yep. I think, was he an Oscar winner? He actually ended up winning yep. an Oscar. Yep. Yep. So very mm -hmm. cool. Uh, mm -hmm. And this camera is a big part of a mm -hmm. lot of that, which is, which is quite amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. The son, uh, the son of Murray uh, Lerner actually donated this camera mm -hmm. to the Marcos Church, which is kind of how it ended up here. Mm -hmm. So we're really lucky to have it. And it's yeah. a, a very cool piece of film and music history. Mm -hmm. Let's take a quick pause here. There was a question uh, that came up. Uh, can you ship the purchases or does the buyer have to pick up? Uh, you can have purchases shipped. Uh, there's several options for that. It walks you through it as you go through the bidding process. Any questions you ever have about that, don't hesitate to call our customer service uh, team and they'll be sure to get you some answers. So uh, that said, uh, let's bring, we're going to switch. We just talked about this pop culture piece. Let's go to another pop culture. Some sneakers. Meredith's going to roll, uh, not in a kayak this time, but she's still going to roll out <laughs> with some uh, uh, cart full of some examples here. What That's do we got? That's right. This cart is also featured in the sale. Yeah, Just... it's a beautiful kind of kitchen uh, island, huh? Yeah. Um, so this collection actually includes 55 pairs of shoes um, spanning women's, men's, and youth sizes. They were all donated to the cause. Yeah. Um, which is great. So, and every bid goes towards the food pantry, like you said. Um, 
we've tried to pull a little bit of a mix, and these are some of the more popular um, styles, specifically this pair. Yeah. I know you're quite familiar with these. <laughs> so this pair is a men's Air Jordan Spizike High Top. And those that know the history of this shoe will know that these were originally released in 2006 as a tribute to Spike Lee and Michael Jordan's relationship, yeah. which really developed after Spike's character from his film debut, um, She's Gotta Have It, became the spokesperson for Nike commercials for all different yeah. styles of Air Jordans. Yeah, I was a huge fan of Michael Jordan as a kid, and I remember when Mars Blackman came on the scene uh, after the Spike Lee movie and became kind of that co-spokesperson with Jordan, and there was a fun banter between them. Uh, there was a whole thing about can, can't, you can purchase these shoes, which you guys can purchase these shoes, <laughs> but you can't 360 high fly dunk, so that's pretty fun. Uh, and then I'm going to steal your thunder a little bit, but what I love about these shoes is that it's a mix of different Jordan eras, and, and Meredith will tell you a little bit more about that. That's right. Um, so these are a hybrid of, I think, five different styles of Jordans. Like I said, they were originally released in 2006, but this colorway was the original colorway, but mm -hmm. this pair was released again. Re-released re in 2014. Re -released in 2014. Um, the shoe comes with different designs from the Jordan 3, 4, 5, 6, and 20. Yeah. My favorite part is this graphic elephant print that you can see here in red and gray, and then of course the Everything Michael on the inner lining in green. Yeah, these are, these are sweet. What size, did we say what size? These are a size 11. Size 11, all right. So these are 11. There's some other great shoes up here, uh, and we would talk about a couple of them. I know, I mean, I'm a huge fan of Red Wing boots. These are pristine, pretty much brand new, and I think a lot of these shoes are brand yeah, new. Yes, so they were donated by a shoe store, so they are either floor samples or in, in brand new condition, which is great. They come with boxes, and yep, you can see. Yeah some of the labels and stuff so on and, and clean soles. Yep. So these are 11 and a half. These are red wings, which are, are beautiful. I personally like this yep. women's style. They're reflective, which is really fun these and metallic cool. silver. They have a hidden wedge and kind these are a size nine. Top. So I may be bidding on those. <laughs> Sorrels. And then the Sorrells are great for winter, which is coming. Yep. Perfect. And like we said, many youth sizes. This is a great youth pair that we have here There's as well. Classic Jordans there too, so. And just fun, bright colors. Very, very cool. Well, thank you. Um, while we, we, we've kind of been doing these for a couple of weeks now, uh, and some of you are probably newer to the site, so we thought maybe we would uh, share a little bit about some of what you see us doing on the screen. So you, you might notice that we filter by a few different things and we kind of uh, slide around to different ways of looking at the page. But as you can see in that upper corner above the list, there's a bunch of ways to kind of resort it. So you'll get highest bid, you'll get lowest bid, uh, most bids, uh, most followed, so you can see what's popular, you can see what's recently added, uh, all those sort of fun, um, fun pieces. And uh, there's other ways on the other side, you can always resort a, uh, a sale by the different categories. So if you're really only into art or collectibles or whatever, uh, you'll be able to then sort and see in that particular sale uh, you can jump to that. And then this is, we're looking in more of a sale view. So this is around uh, this Marco family house, but there's also a lot of stuff that you can always sort by category or use the search bar at the top. So I think we had a couple of questions. Uh, we talked a little bit about, there was one question about the, the shoe sizes. And as we were going through there, there there's a range of shoe sizes. You just kind of have to look at what uh, style you're really looking, looking to buy and kind of double check it. It's all listed in the item details. Uh, and unless there's any other questions, I think we're going to wrap it up for tonight and let you guys search around for some uh, uncommon stuff. So such a great story from a wonderful family uh, and such a great cause. So this is your chance to shop some great antique pieces and some nice accents to help benefit the 9 million reasons food pantry. So we'll be back live uh, Sunday the 11th to provide an update. Uh, on that historic camera that we talked about, on the sneakers that we talked about, on all this great uh, furniture and decor, all the outdoor furniture, uh, and we'll help guide you through the ending action. Uh, and just as a reminder, again, Sunday night is another chance to be, uh, for your bidding to be featured on our upcoming TV series, The Marco Family in this uh, Long Island Retreat. Uh, and the good work that the Marco family does uh, will be one of the episodes of that, of that upcoming TV series. So on Sunday, tune in on live.ebth.com. And as always, we'll have several auctions closing. We'll be bouncing around through some great material uh, on other sales closing, as well as seeing how all this stuff performs. So uh, until then, see you Sunday night. Uh, keep living the uncommon life. Happy bidding. <laughs>